Anyway, let's uh, let's go again here. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> let's go again here and let's uh, actually do those strategies correctly and have a you know just a little bit more patience. <laughs> That was just one of those weird first runs of the day where <laughs> I just had to make every mistake. <laughs> but whatever, we got that run out of the way. Now let's actually get a good run. Some kind of cake? Looks tight, but I can get through. Oh, this must be a ruin of the metal world. Thanks for good luck, guys. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Unfortunately, even though we need meat in this run, the geese are one of the worst animals to go for. <laughs> they don't drop a lot of meat, and they tend to be hard to catch. Oh shoot. Similar to the rabbits. Goose and rabbits are just not really worth going for in the run. Even though it's Christmas. They just What's don't that? tend to be worth the time. Compared to Daddy going for sure. boar, fox, raccoon, and turkey. Why did they die here? What happened to them? But I hope you're doing well, Multi. He found me. See this plant over here. It's called salve brush. Come, gather its bare good. Now eat the berries. They may taste bitter. This time we did the berries correctly. Your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Where are we? This valley is just a part of all mothers and Unfortunately, they did not do a Christmas patch. The Nor tribe watches these lands. Ooh, oh, gorilla? Was was that something we were expecting? <laughs> I mean, I guess not for Sierra on. If they were to do it, they would probably be Forbidden River. West. We'll find a herd of machines. But in Forbidden West, you can also you just go to Las Vegas and are put on dangerous? the Christmas light things. All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. completed the relic rune for it. I will be beside you. Aloy, I'm a there. Still, wait for it to pass. Now keep low and follow me across the trail to that tall grass. Oh, that series, fair enough. <laughs> Christmas patch even be though? I don't know if it was real but I, I saw on Twitter people posting a Death Stranding gameplay where every character had a had a Christmas hat on or Santa hat or whatever they're called in English. That's the life of them. Let's move on. I don't know if that was just a mod or that was actually something they patched in. But I saw a couple of people post that so something tells me it was actually a... You did well. A straight up patch, <laughs> just for Christmas. Now stay close. That herd should be just ahead. Or maybe not patch. Maybe there's something in the code. If you play the game on that date, the game just looks like that. Come now, let's find that herd. Follow. I think in GTA Online they usually make the entire map covered in snow for Christmas. So there are games that do it, but it tends to be more yeah. live server See stuff. Them? These are obviously. Drivers. Why'd you chase them off? 
Death Stranding is the only time where I think I've seen a single player game do something like that. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I will show you how to use them. Those will do. Follow. I feel like it's fairly common to see it on live service games. <clears throat> see, um... See, like, some sort of holiday thing happen. Harvest the kill so I can use the stocks as arrow shafts. Good. You'll never run out of arrows if you know how Good strike! Keep firing! You did well today. But you have much to learn. Tomorrow? Well, well given they said it's coming in early 2024, I guess at this point it trails. can be at most three months oh, away. Boy. Probably at least, probably at least one month more. <laughs> Aloy, try to keep up. In case you didn't know, they have announced a, or a rough release date. They said early 2024, which, in my head, if you ask me, early 2024 obviously means January, February, or March. I think I think it's gonna be March because, for one, if it was January, I'm pretty sure we would know that by now. And February, there's a lot of things releasing in February, including a couple of Sony things or other PlayStation stuff. So I'd imagine Sony would rather want to release it in March to not compete with themselves. Would be my guess. But I'm thinking it's probably gonna be March. But, you know, we'll see. We shall see. Solid childhood here. I mean, technically it could also be delayed and it's more than three months, but... I feel like it's rare that ports of games that are already out gets delayed. So. He said we go hunting this morning. Why is it? Doubt that one. <laughs> Where's he gone to? But yeah, yeah, my money is still on it being early, early mid March. Is my prediction. He's just standing there. And if What's not, going on it's probably going to be in February, like every other Horizon game tends to release in February. No, but would you? Of course. If this once, yes. I really don't think it's January. But my whole argument for it not being in January is simply because, I like I said, if it was in January, I'm pretty sure they would have announced the date by now. <clears throat> to get some time to get those pre-orders in. Yo, Mold with a 46 month reset. Goddamn, thank you so much for the continued support. Really hope you're doing well. And happy holidays to you too. Merry Christmas. Never takes long before scrappers come looking for parts. Oh, 
they're scanning for me. Spider-Man 2 is probably going to be a long time, but I would be shocked if in 2024 Ghost of Tsushima is not on PC. I honestly thought Ghost would come to PC That's before nice. Forbidden West, because obviously. Um, Wonder but... But now that Forbidden West is apparently coming first, my assumption is they're probably waiting until... Waiting it, waiting for it to be closer to the release of the Ghost of Shima 2. But, uh... It's gonna come in handy. But yeah, if Ghost is not on PZ in 2024, I would honestly be very shocked. That area back there. I wonder if I can find a what some kind of power cell. I wonder what it's for. <laughs> I'm sure the scrapper would love to talk about that. But it's the holidays, so I don't get time to talk about such silly things. Blood twist Final Fantasy 16. How long did it take Final Fantasy 7 to come to PZ? That was also around two years, right? I think uh, we talked about it during the Hundo run the other day. I think somebody. Time to see cars. Final Fantasy VII Remake was 2018, right? No one else around. On console, and then PC was 2020. I guess this helped. I think. Is. I was nervous. Surprise. Careful. Oh. <laughs> Last night. Oh. I'll. My life. <laughs> I, get I feel like 2024 for Final Fantasy 16 seems a little early. But who knows? Whatever they're hunting out there it doesn't sound easy. No worries, yeah. Multi. You will. Wait. St Good night. Enjoy the walk. That carcass. What sort of beast was that? I'll most likely be here when you come back. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you. Almost forgot to start the tutorial quest there, but we're good. But yeah, also now, I guess, given Forbidden West is coming to PC within just two years of uh, the console launch. You also wouldn't be crazy for so, thinking God of War Ragnarok could come to PC next year. Because you gotta remember, Ragnarok will already be two years old when we get to next fall. So if Horizon is out on PC within two years, why not Ragnarok? First, the proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. I'm also surprised Last of Us Part 2 is not on PC yet. Habit. But now that they are What's releasing the Last of Us Part 2 remaster, I'd imagine they are gonna put the remaster on PC. How long that's gonna take, I don't know. Could be a lot of PlayStation games coming to PC next year. Or at least it seems like it could line up like that for a lot of uh, PlayStation games on PC in 2024. So I think PC gamers are gonna eat pretty good next year. I 
might be a little band-aid on the wound, knowing that PC gamers have to wait until well, probably 2026 before they get GTA 5 or GTA 6. What's Polly? Oh, I wait. No. Whoa. Hey. His guy. As I thought. I. Yeah. I mean. Uh, you. I'll. I thought. Thank you, Inferno. Merry anyway. Christmas to you too. You I won't deny. Witcher 4? Didn't they just say they have only begun developing Witcher 4 after they released the Cyberpunk DLC? I think Witcher 4, that's pretty far away. Definitely a couple of years. I think they recently said something about Witcher 4. Uh, CD Projekt Red in one of their financial reports or whatever they're called. I think it was something to do with being an early development for the game. An early de development for a game like Witcher 4 probably means at least three years away from being able to release it. So I don't think Witcher 4 is anytime soon. But don't hang me up on that. I'm, I just feel like I remember seeing that shortly after Cyberpunk DLC came out. And also, uh, I... I'm pretty sure the Witcher remastered that they're also working on for the original game is probably gonna come out before Witcher 4. And that is also apparently worked on by a separate team. The CD Projekt Red has like two teams working on games. <clears throat> if I read call correctly. Uh, too far behind. So I think we're gonna see the Rich of One remake before you you'll see uh Rich of One. But then again, Witcher One is like so old and really outdated from what I've seen of it. Never played it myself, but from what I've seen and heard about it, so I think a lot of people will welcome a remake of that. Especially because most people that play Witcher 3 has not played 1 or 2. But there's definitely gonna be a big market for that remake. more of them. Thank you. 
really good pruning. Let's go. Yo, Hutch, with a 27 month resub. Let's go. Thank you so much for your continued support. Really hope you're doing well, and thank you for using your prime on me. I appreciate that. I hope you're doing well. I'm picking up some kind of signal. There. With the rest of Another one of these power cells. But well, what do I do with it? Is on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. Uh, how was the war party defeated? Pretty solid start so far, but not worth celebrating anything. We haven't gotten Carl's yet. And obviously, we had the Striders coming up. Striders can easily. Ruined us. <clears throat> if they decide not to behave, so. Then, what's your plan? This is this. It's always the thing in this category. It's not really worth celebrating anything, or celebrating a good start to a run until you are past the strike of both split. I would say. <laughs> At the very least, the corrupt split. Depends on if you already get the good Carl and the Corruptor split. I guess then you can celebrate. I am. And I first try maybe second time here one of these things marched with the killer no. hey look Ted, i can't you exactly uh, but i think <sighs> i know graves i want that gate repaired immediately i don't care if you have to bandage it No 
good curl there and not the fastest fight ever. He unfortunately got to jump away a bit there. It worked. It's not hostile. Starters. So not great. Watch yourselves! Bring it closer! Am I No. If the we have isn't a lord the truck where with the warp you might I <laughs> this strider is fast! <laughs> this beats walking. My whole life. All now we just gotta hope it turns around a little bit. Just got bigger. When we get to the frozen walls. I should try we'll to get down uh, some decent curls. Probably Quickly can't enough. ride them all, but I might find a use for them. So the potential of this run can definitely still turn around. But it's definitely not been an amazing stuff. In terms of the RNG. Yeah, your mount is uh, a lot slower when it's not on road in this game. So there are certain places where uh, there are certain places where it's faster to uh, not cut across. Simply because uh, the mount is a lot slower on road than off road, or it's a lot slower off road than on road. So, uh, if it's uh, only very small turns, it's actually not worth it to cut across. Which is unfortunate. It's not like uh, it is in Forbidden West, where you have the same speed, no matter what. See where on you are, a little bit more reliant on the roads. Two, two. I don't think we're gonna get that low. That would be insane. <laughs> that would require literally absolutely perfect RNG and me also playing out of my mind to achieve a time that good. Why are there no boars? fact that there's not a single boar here when there usually is a good amount. I mean, these are not bony meat but it's my fatty meat that's quite low. It is technically possible, that's true. Just arguably a little bit unrealistic. <laughs>
starting to do a little better on the meat now. It's not the meat that's gonna cause those runs of hell. At the very least. Merry Christmas to you too, uh, a little bit. Hope you're doing well. Machines are alert. Oh, you got a PS5? Let's go. That's a sick Christmas present. Hell yeah. Awesome. Just a reminder to everyone who gets a PS5, make sure you play Astro's Playroom when uh, when you get the console. It's a game that comes for free with the consoles. Sure, it is a tech demo, but it's also just a really good game and you are missing out if you do not play it. So make sure you play Astro's Playroom because it's really cool and very under... Eh, is it underrated? I don't know. Maybe not, but... <laughs> Perhaps not, but you don't look like you know this path, I always like to remind people to try it because I know a good amount of people who just skip it thinking, oh, it's just dumb tech demo, but no, it's really good. First thing you did, good. <laughs> I always want to shout out Astro's Playroom because it's really good. And more people need to play it. <laughs> Because it's literally free with the console. You can play it while you install the other games you've probably got with the console. We tend to ask that underestimate free stuff. I mean, yeah, psychologically that just makes sense. If you don't pay for something, you know, you don't... In your mind, you don't really describe that much value to it. So, besides Astro's Playroom a little bit, what's the first game you're gonna play on it? Well, first couple of games, maybe. Liza P? Ooh, interesting choice. Nice. You sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? I've worked up a sweat from the climb. Made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. All right, time to see if we get some good luck with these corals, or well, if we're gonna reset the run. Smoke rising from the mountain. Hopefully not reset. Something big going on. Most of the village is moving to the smoke. But first, ruckus. Hey, take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea. Spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's drum. I want mm -mm. or then she was mm. rumor. Not for me. Don't make. I wonder if Aratok could tell me more about Araya or Thunder's drum. Oh, well, first try. Let's go. Good RNG. Worth a shot. Only green handling girls, but we got two of them. So that basically is the equivalent of having a blue handling girl. Damon Let's go. Machines. Really good RNG. To do that, I need to talk to her apprentice, who followed the river north. All of a sudden, this run has some potential. 
That was a... Not gonna lie, I... <laughs> I assumed I was just gonna get a really bad RNG and this was gonna turn into a reset, but nope. Out of nowhere, we get two hanging girls. Let's go. Still not what I would call perfect early game RNG, but very solid. Very solid. <laughs> That's the spirit magic. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yes.
<laughs> Fair enough. Water gushing from the little bit of wall. What is this place? Not gonna lie, we would like a bit more meat here. Actually helped made up for that. Very nice. Americanus, the magnificent American black bear. Brought to you by Montana. I, oh, uh, when the when it's, uh, I, but as you got enough. Those badgers drop a lot I of meat. If I even though they are relatively small in size. So that helped made up for it. As you can see, my PB run or the world record did not have an early. Good early game RNG in terms of uh, getting the coils fast, so we're gonna save a lot of time here because we got them first try. But that being said, my world record did have better early game coils here, so so we might have a relatively big lead now, but uh, due to the coils being slightly worse, it's going to be a little hard to compete, but at least we got a big cushion to be able to keep up with it. And you got to remember, my world record, as I said, has some massive time losses <sighs> later in the run See that uh, we can uh, save time on. As long as we can uh, keep up with my um, as long as we can keep up with the world record until we get to you know the mid game then uh, we can well, totally get a really good run or oh, then uh, we're still on a very good run We're doing fast travel pack lines. Eight. Okay. We need eight more fast travel packs for the rest of the run. Playing Kenna, trying to get all the achievements. Nice. That's an awesome game. I never got the platinum trophy in Kenna. It's a, I don't know. I'm not really much of a trophy hunter these days, so I actually don't know how difficult the game is to get platinum. What's up, Jolly? Feliz and Navidad to you. Those machines. You can see the car. Maybe not. Oh, one of the traces was all the way down by the water. This is really bad RNG. Yeah, that's really unlucky. Having that grazer down by the water there, I didn't even see him. That's how far down he was. So I had to turn around and chase him down. We got him relatively quickly, but obviously having to turn around like that and to get that grazer is uh, obviously not ideal. So a little bit of bad RNG on that end there, but it's fine. Let's just get a good, um, let's just <clears throat> get a good second crop or two. I do not see the comparison to Horizon. But fair enough, I guess. Kenna, in my opinion, has like nothing to do with Horizon. Or no similarities, in my opinion. Other than it being third person open world, I guess.
I'm not. So pretty, pretty good. That was a pretty good, um... It's pretty good corrupt this time. Like, the thing I would probably compare Kenna the most to is, like, Jag and Daxter. In terms of its gameplay. It reminds me a lot of the original Jag and Daxter. It's definitely inspired by those PS2, PS2 platformers, for sure. Turn back, girl! These machines are dangerous! Card your border, but I'll take it. Where are you headed, girl? West to Meridian. The way we get okay. where the I'll take it. So we got a free scroll for the sling, so that's nice. Is not made. I mean, I'm saying in the gameplay, the way Kenna moves, the way you jump and platform in the game is very much like the original Dragon Dexter. Like, the movement, the platforming is pretty much a one to one copy, I would almost argue, of Dragon Dexter. Like, movement and platforming. I feel like the only thing movement-wise Kenna doesn't have from the original Dragon Daxter is to spin. But like the rolling, the kind of staggered movement, I don't know. It reminds me a lot of the original Dragon Daxter. If you see it side by side, I think you would agree. Or at least try to play them relatively close to each other. But obviously, like, the combat is a different one. Well, I was more thinking the movement and platforming. It seems very Jag and Daxter inspired. Also, the way the open world is designed in Kenna. I feel like definitely has, has a bit of a nod to Jag and Daxter, too.
one thing's for sure, Canada definitely seems to be a love letter game to like PS2 platformers, I would say. Definitely feel like that's where they took a lot of their inspiration from. to the night before the proving. Aaron said he'd introduce me to his sister if I visited Meridian. Said she was captain of the Vanguard. Getting locked down on account of the murder. Keep that on broken amount. It's always the merchant. Not getting through Outlander. Halt! Stop in love. The mer- How would I know? Ha. Hey, hey, you all. Have you- Ah. Uh, over so of as you- There. A lot, not many. We were- I'm How I- Tar- The killer- What are you- It doesn't- I need- But- No. But- I don't need- Isn't- Aha. Okay. I- I need- Okay. Hey, come back. Olin's place is this way. No, I don't know what to do to Olin. What did he mean about Ursa's murder? Not now. Here we are. Try not to break him. Where are this- All in a day, girl. You're wasting time. Look, but it's cute. <laughs> Looks like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted. A map. The glyphs show places he visited. There's your... How did... I'll leave it. Wait, out. I'm not just. Don't act. Look, feel. Frederick. There we go. On to excavation site. He's learning about momentum. <laughs> that is definitely uh, very important to learn <laughs> in video games, but nice. Is that a good game? I don't know, I don't keep up with Sonic games. But uh, I know for throughout history, Sonic games tend to be very hit or miss. I think it's fair to say. But I'm not hurting anything about superstars. Like the old Sonic games with updated tech. Nice. Oh. Sounds pretty good. Forgive this. An in Who?
I pro That's actually really good. Considering I didn't have a damage count. I'm not. Hell yeah. What are they never? What do I do when they and you fall? You say Haiti. Haiti. Steal such. And what? I I won't wear my fault. Yours. Yes. Then the goat. I didn't. An even better handling curl as well. Very nice. Let's go. Unexpectedly good excavation site. Excavation side there is normally really hard to do without a without a damage count, but that was actually really good. That might be the best excavation side I've done without a good handling without a damage count. My PV did have a damage curl, so that's why I'm still losing time, because you naturally can't just do that fight much faster with with a damage curl. So you can one shot a lot of the enemies. Shots like that, dude. Right. Come on. No. No. Come on. A little too much stormtrooper then, that fine. Hello, Patty Oz, and if somebody else tuned in. Hello, hello. Hope you guys are doing well. Some good shots up here. Solid. Versus men didn't fight back. Those rocks, they're shattered. Something hit these stones. Something I've never seen before. What are those leather straps? Armor straps. Cut with a knife. And a rock with blood on it. Looks like you could mount some equipment on that thing. There, by the tripod. A used power cell. to go down there to get stuck, didn't you? Did 
Ooh, ravagers right next to the entrance. So we good. Go. Get your money for what? Sorry, I missed a lot of dialogue in chat. <laughs> I'm not sure what you guys are talking about. <laughs> He's very focused on the run right now. <laughs> Some rumors of OG God of War games coming to PS5. Like God of War 1 and 2, I assume. That'd be cool. I guess there's no reason to do God of War 3, because that already got a remaster. Would be nice to see the PS, uh, P games as well. Excuse me. Chains of Olympus and Ghost of Sparta. Because both of the, both the PSP games are really good from what I hear. They usually rank as some of the best games on PSP. So maybe they could do 1, 2 and then the two PSP games. That would be awesome. Sony's been putting a lot of PSP games on PS5 lately, so I imagine it's only a matter of time before the God of War ones are gonna get ported. And God of War 1 and 2 are PS2 games, so they can. Uh, they should be easy to port. Usually the problem is uh, with PS3 games, they are hard to port, but God of War 1 and 2 are both PS2 games, so they should be easy to port. The uh, PSP ones are prequels? Ah, I think one of them is. I'm not really sure. And then there's also God of War Ascension, but everybody apparently hated God of War Ascension, so maybe that one won't get ported. <laughs> People were not big fans of it, Ascension, which is the reason why they changed up God of War for 2018. Stranger, did you see? I need to find a way. It was not the prettiest fight, but super awesome RNG right there. Dr. Sutherland, you not the prettiest fight. Got uh, spotted too early there. So couldn't get some headshots, but Welcome doesn't matter. We got good curls. Where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe, Pharaoh leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. If I remember correctly, the PSP game, I think it's Ghost of Sparta. That's like a prequel. But uh, don't hang me up on it. Be a long way up. Frozen metal most of the way. Not making... If plants can find a way to hang on up here, 
I don't know if we have any God of War experts in the chat, but that know the history. But yeah, how many God of War games are there? There's one, two, three, and Ascension. One and two are PS2 games, but they're also on PS3. Uh, God of War 3 is just PS3, but it got a remaster on PS4, so you can play that one on PS5. Ascension is only on PS3, and that one had a, a multiplayer on it. And God of War Ascension, to my knowledge, apparently the multiplayer was pretty, pretty fun, but the single player was terrible. Or maybe not terrible, but people really didn't like the single player. I remember there was a lot of complaints about that one, and people at the time said that Santa Monica should move on from God of War. <clears throat> because of Ascension. And then, of course, the two PSP games, like I said, uh, Chains of Olympus and Ghost of Sparta. I'm not sure what order those two are in. And then, of course, we have 2018 and Ragnarok. Of the recent ones. And I know the two PSP games, people speak really highly of both Ghost of Sparta and Chains of Olympus, so... Good Usually considered among the best right. PSP games. So. It would be awesome to see all of them come to modern platforms. Oh, yes, I believe I do. The phone has been recovered. Elizabeth, good to, uh. It's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your daddy confirms us. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. No free fast roll packs. I know That's you said you screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. We definitely need to collect a good amount more meat. I mean, we can still get four more free fast roll packs. Most likely, just two more. And the Revenge of the Nora and uh, War Chief Quest. I keep finding these power cells. What do do? But I might just need to assume we are not going to get that. It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And we'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here. But they hated each other. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Les. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. <clears throat> but so far, so good, this run. The glitch <clears throat> severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. What? You, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained! It can't be! Do you know what I mean? Right. Before the truth kicks out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. Somehow she defeated them. The world of the old ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. A final fellow, Zero Dawn. Jesus, Les. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix this, I would have put on curls and craft uh, skill, curls, and then craft astral packs before leaving here. I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not Ted. It may be grim, but it's Curious to see how much time I'm gonna lose, because I'm definitely losing some time on the split. The fight was not that good. Yes, and obviously the menuing I have to do. But the Death Bringer did give us some really good curls, so... 
The run has a lot of potential. I'm speaking to you from, from here on up. En route to US robot command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? what? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Les. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. <laughs> so or things you've but we think. Up. What would things have been what? Elizabeth, great. Right? You'll find me. Okay. I can't. Oh, I don't have any more meat. Okay. I thought I had some meat to craft. Fair enough. So I definitely need to collect some meat on the way to Borderlands, no matter what. What the very least doing, Warchief? But yeah, didn't lose that much time. I honestly thought I was gonna go into the red, but uh, still green, so that's good. Keep it that way. All of these people are here to see the sun. Yes, and these have come to offer us favors. Unpleasant, but that's possible. The is eager to meet you. Machine tamed to curious eyes. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. Thank you, Tooth. Merry Christmas to you, too. Hope you're doing well. Ignore them. Nobles like children. Why? What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I know. Who? Eyes peeled here.
I'm not far from Pitchcliff. Marad said to look for his agent in the town's marketplace. Pitchcliff is not far. Marad's agent is going to the town marketplace. So many machines here. Should be fine. Yeah, we should be good enough. I'm a hundred percent run the other day. The Ravager there shot me on the way. But uh, he was not in position to do that here. Why? Uh, oh, finally, there's a boar. I was about to say, why was there no meat at all? On the way to Pitchcliff here. Uh, only one fatty meat. Shit. Meat RNG is not looking good right now. Might have to collect a good amount on Warchief and Revenge of the Noir. Which is unfortunate. There's yeah, not been a lot of animals to go around this run. Ay, ay, ay. Supposed to shoot a freeze there. I'll just rush him. That was terrible. Fucking hell.
Ah, oh, that sucks. Really bad Borderlands. Got spotted way too early because I couldn't hit the shot. Couldn't see his head properly on that first guy. And that ruined the entire rest of the fight. Come on! Why am I not getting fatty meat on any fucking drop here? This must be the last Game, please, don't make me lose my run to this. Sh Fuck off! Oh my god! <laughs> what the tall the war chief stopped here. Uh, I'm afraid this run is actually gonna die to meet RNG right now. I should try my focus. That was a lot of waste of time for one fucking fat meat. Better be two free fast run packs here at War Chief or Revenge of the North. Otherwise, I might be screwed. I know of them. I killed one at Mother's Watch. Take it there. That thing could have been better. If you're my no, she's and I uh, do it. Commanders, over the past month, accidental blaze explosions have killed a dozen men. Here in the ring of metal, I've taken the precaution oh, didn't of placing get the our entire stockpile in a covered shelter, safe from stray sparks and lightning. And I posted guards to control access. I urge need a lot of meat on the measures, next split here. Or suffer the consequences. It looks like this run might actually just be dying run. out. Out. <sighs> a blaze stock. Losing time to collecting meat right now. There's blood. Please, I'll sound. We still don't have really any meat to show for it. Yeah, I lost 30 seconds there, and probably 25 of those seconds were just because I don't have any meat. That 
war chief. Our... I'll take... we'll... So we're gonna lose even more time on this split. Because I still don't have meat. I only got one fucking fatty meat on that last split. So... Not looking good. Bit of a shame we have a really good curl on this run, but... Meat RNG. This is one of those runs where there's just no animals. Fascinating. Where the fuck are the animals? There's none. Wow, game. There's no free fast roll packs there either. So we are absolutely screwed right now. And I still don't see a single animal. Oh, a raccoon. Only one fatty meat. I need five more. Wait, what was it? Let's hope the box up here with Sona has a lot of fair meat. Yeah, there's no animals. No animals. One fatty meat. Thank. God damn it, dude. Okay. No. If I'm so. Oh yeah. Yes. Still missing oh, no. four fatty meat. We wait on your signal. I guess we'll uh, have to get it on the way to Eclipse Space. Hope for some good boars or something. I mean, the run is not dead necessarily because of it right now, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm not having a good feeling about this. You do have a plan, right? You followed me this far, even into the room. I thought you trusted me. I do, but how would you know that this place has a weakness? Patience, Barl. You'll know soon enough. Which especially sucks, because it's so rare that meat RNG is this bad. It's like one out, one out of ten runs, I would say, where we get this bad meat RNG. But oh well, let's just keep playing well and see what happens. Take my hand. We might still be able to turn it around. Just above. take it one split at a time. Got everything else going for us right now, except meat.
right now. Okay, not too bad. Uh. That was not some, the prettiest spawns I've ever seen. <laughs> that was all over the place. Sub skinny. in this area. Three power lines, resources. That makes one. That's two. One more. So we're playing really well, we're getting good fights. <clears throat> Just a shame we lost time to the RNG. And gotta keep in mind, we still have those big time saves later on the run. On both Zero Dawn and All Mother, we can save a lot of time. But uh, we still need four more fatty meat for the rest of the run, and uh, say we need to get at least two on Eclipse Space, so 
Hopefully there will be some animals. That I'm not too far out of the way. Because we already lost enough time to... Being low on meat. Pretty sure I got all the bony meat I need. But, um... It's the, it's the fatty meat we're missing. Unfortunately, <laughs> doing the... Unfortunately, doing the... What's it called? The war chief section there. Every animal we looted had no fatty meat on. Which is just really unlucky. Well, I mean, we got one, but, you know. <laughs> definitely could have been better. So long as humanity holds up the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. So there's still a lot of potential in this run. I'm just Dr. very Sobek, worried about the meat. Because I don't like being low on meat at this point in the run. As the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. Look at launch base. What is that? What... Now it... It's... Again, I think we only need two before I clip space and be totally fine. But we do need at least two, I would say. So hopefully we'll see a boar or something not too far off the road that we can uh, quickly get. At the very least some meat in convenient places. So we don't have to go out of our way for it. Because it's the going out of the way for it that usually takes the most time, obviously. Got two. <clears throat> There's that lucky boar we need. Obviously, if we can get two more, that would be nice, because then I don't have to think about meat later in the run. Or at least one more. As a box later in the run, we could get meat from as well. That pretty much always guarantees me a uh, fatty meat. But if we can get one more, that would be nice. I'm not too worried about meat anymore, but the reason why I got so worried is because I've had, in the past, I've had quite a few runs just die because of meat RNG, and that is just the worst way to lose a run when there's just no meat around. It's such a bad feeling. <laughs> I mean, I can understand getting bad Carl RNG and having to restart, you know, but meat RNG is just, it is RNG, but... Like I said, 9 out of 10 runs, meat is not an issue. <laughs> so, having that, you know, 1 in 10 runs where it is an issue, it just really blows. Especially when you're on a run that has a good amount of potential. I could have killed that fox there. Just got it too late.
All right, we got the mead we wanted. Gonna lose a little bit of time in this split for having to go out of my way for it. But as long as we nail the rest of it, it's not gonna be that bad. All right. Let's what just now? get a good at cup spacer. That's what. Let's see what's through here. Corrupted machines. Clean brand skip. Very nice. Skips. Perfect stop. Now we just need a good escape. Climb it. The sooner this is done, the better. I don't like this. It feels wrong. Everything here is wrong. Keep moving! Are you kidding me? Keep moving. Right. Yeah, you think? time to catch up. There we go. Now we have the first roll packs for the ending. Alright, now we're done worrying about RNG. Now all there's left to do is just finish the run. Sunfall. At least in terms of Coral and Meat RNG. Obviously, combat RNG is a different story, but... Yeah. Let's not but worry about no that. idea what <laughs> lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. The Southern Proud tradition. Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. Success. Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. If you want to hear about today's bounty, head to the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. Take the shards. First time in the Citadel, the balustrade. It's a short drop from there. The others. I see you've been here before. Obviously. No. It's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. 
Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. We found it. Are you ready? Please take a seat and wait for your name. Please proceed into viewing room one for an important... What? What was this place? A holographic theater. ZD01 data intact. Initiating playback. That, that doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Kestrels. They got in. Through the vents. Let I can pass them. I'm detected. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Initiating playback. So... The whole Earth... Destroyed. Confinement block inaccessible. Intruder! Get her! Whatever you do, I don't want to die. die. That did it. Door should have power. Now to see what lies beyond it. I can hear you. Let's go. Let's get. Definitely had pretty as zero dawns before, but I'll take it. I can see if you own oh, make that list, it would that I you can ever you're all the heck it does I do you you've got you and then be it out after round I what you're right in it fat you you're fat. I'll never beat that thing without weapons. My weapons are up on the platform. There's no way out of this ring. Maybe I could use this. That pillar's weak. Another hit, and that pillar will come down. It's down. Yes. No shenanigans with pillars.
sides of its head. It's got something to do with this leaf attack. That canister on its belly. Looks important. time from that, but I think I might lose 10 seconds there. I don't know. The music ended quickly, so I might not. Yeah, I think we're good. Of course. If you I just thought the fight there was so yeah, slow, we were gonna miss the yes. music the timing. Yeah! The cutscene starts there depending on the music, so you have to kill the, kill the behemoth before the music reaches a certain point. Which is, and like I said, it's like on a 10 second cycle, so if you mess it up, you lose about 10 seconds. Yeah, I think I messed it up a little bit, since I lost 6 seconds. My pillars might have been a little faster, hence why it's not exactly 10, but 6 seconds. So, yeah, whatever. See if we can uh, make up for that thunder draw mistake we had in the other day now. Definitely saving a good amount of time here. I messed this up completely in my world record. Those who didn't see it. Lost a minute and a half on the split, so should save a lot of time from doing the fight first rank. And doing it relatively fast. That was a really quick Thunder Joe fight to be honest. So she by the have you what if she she talk hold for I see you're inside. Figured I might be hearing from you. Shall we begin? I never stopped. Hmm. Looks like they don't like this game very much. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Of course they hated it. Dr. Sobek, you are clear to proceed. Welcome to the Lyceum. So... What was this place, exactly? The dream of Apollo. Never realized. But why not? Priority was accessed. I get to scan my function rectified. I will be back. Grade one access unsealed.
we go. Big time save. <clears throat> like I said, I had a lot of time to save there. Just a shame uh, it happened on a run where we lost <laughs> probably a minute to the meat RNG. But uh, whatever, we're back ahead. Let's get something out of this run now. Let's focus up on this final stretch of the run. spawned in such a position that I'm surprised they didn't try to attack me there. But it works for me. The way to the mountain will be hard. Ferocious machines prowl every step of the climb. More corrupted. Not corrupted. So what else is new? Stalkers in the open. Watchers on the other side. Climbing path for me, but left an army of machines for me to deal with. Since when were machines any obstacle for you? If you could fly, I wouldn't have bothered with the climbing path either. <laughs> this is exactly the kind of place. Not the key. It's yeah, every genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Mind your footing.
Elizabeth, it's... The focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. To us, it seems a powerful device, but its engine is tiny and limited. How slow? Days, this weeks, is Charles Ross. years. Concern yourself with stopping Hades and extending the future, and you might live long enough to hear them. When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was no inside control. Alpha clearance. The alphas were in there. What the hell is Omega clearance? Sorry to alarm you. Power cell. It must fit somewhere. That's a good here. Solid guy prime. My PB did get a gold here, so probably losing a little bit of time. I don't think my movement was that perfect here. But that good. But yeah. I'm not gonna lose a lot. Might just be a second or two. Unless I mess up the ending, but pretty solid movement throughout. You thought I was muted? No, I'm just focusing. We have a run with really good potential here, so that's okay. She doesn't just getting in the zone, you know. What? And focusing up. But now we got a little break here with the TED talk before the big finale. I'm locked out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is <laughs> Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh, I've, uh, please, stop trying to access the system, okay? See, see what this is about is, um, <laughs> I said it's stop trying to access the goddamn system. And what, what I'm trying to say is I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents. Those blameless men. Finally and, some lore. And, 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 and women. <laughs> We're gonna give them knowledge? Finally some lore in my speedruns. Ted, Ted. That is the why We've I watch these speedruns. <laughs> Apollo has to it's all about the lore. Conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? No. We can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Oh, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone. All of it. Every copy. Sacrifice? It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. Fighting house. If 
Horizon 3? Uh, I don't know. I'd say earliest 2026. But probably no later than 2028. I think it's gonna be one of the last exclusives on the PS5. Would be my prediction. They have confirmed a number three. I mean, they said back in 2018 or something, just after uh, Zero Dawn came out, that they were that they wanted the games or the games to be a trilogy. That was long before they announced the sequel in Forbidden West. But obviously, if you have played Forbidden West and the Burning Shores DLC, you know a third game is coming. <laughs> Is the second game definitely sets up the third game. It would be weird if the story ended after the second one. I help because why not know which? Yeah, yeah. So I'm taking. Oh. Oh, it actually was a goal. Nice. Pretty clean. But yeah, you could uh, you could actually argue this the second game, Forbidden West, uh, is pretty much the prequel to the third game. <laughs> In all honesty, I mean it it is a game on its own. Don't get me wrong, but the way it ends definitely sets up a third title. But uh, since I know there's probably a good amount of PC players watching right now that have not played Forbidden West, I'm not gonna spoil it. <laughs> At least say that without spoiling anything. <laughs> oh yeah, prologue, I guess. Whatever. Not prequel, prologue, whatever. Whatever turn you want to use. <laughs> but yeah, I know when I'm playing Zero Dawn, there's probably a lot of PC players around that haven't played Forbidden West, so... Don't want to be throwing wild spoilers cells. too much. <laughs> I'll have to find power cells to get these. I don't think it's a spoiler saying that the uh, ending to the second game sets up there. a third game. Just need At least if you ask me, that's not really a spoiler. Okay, maybe there's some more information nearby. Something looks like each dial has four positions. Maybe if I get each. Just want to be respectful about it, especially now that we are so close to a uh, forbidden west place. coming to PC. Maybe there's a way to power up the test need to install these power cells. Only two more. Just one more. There we go. The last one. All powered up. Now to get the dials in position. There must be some kind of code. Did it. Alright. Now let's see what we can do with this material. up the menuing there Ugh. and some of the movement but whatever doesn't matter on to Derval let's keep these split screen 225 is definitely on the table in this run so let's focus up and get a good ending here I'm glad you're back. She will tell him what. I'll let only. Uh, if I'll run. I'll meet. Aaron, take him. Ours. <clears throat> hey, look. When we. But now. You were. Is it fine? I will. We will. Let's see if we can get a blaze skip here. My world record actually got blaze skip, but it had a terrible Glenhawk fight. Play skip plus really good Glendog fight. We can definitely save some time. If we can get that.
Or he has a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Or big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Let's go! We'll play skip. Oh, yeah. adventurers. What happened? I haven't had blast like that since the liberation. There's smoke rising from the edge of the mesa. Oh, the tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. This must be where Durval sent Durval did find a way into the palace. Shots count on the Glen Hawks. Wish I could be there. Looks good. I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way. Clean. Hey, look, you would budge. Damn it. <laughs> you, yeah. Come on. Well, I know. You know now, try not. I heal. Uh, no. Hey, look, and it's a vibe. I. Well, I. It, you. It's by the. Uh, uh, by the. Hey, look, please. Heal within. It's. It will. Weak. I'm trying. Marie. Perhaps. Yes. And ha. Now. I don't. Does it? Panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. Ah, word, but I exact so other nice gold, and there's the sub 220 on the summer best. Anything unfinished? All right. Time for healers. Still got re three really tough splits to go, so nothing is guaranteed. Massing forces for the long march to the city gates. Can lose the run on every single one of these splits. And what is it? So gotta stay focused here. The end. One step at a time. How it begins anyway.
Deathbringers you spoke of. To the guns! To the guns! Now! By the sun, do as she says! Set loaded! All of you, be ready to fire! Will the guns hold them back? Fine. We did kill him, so dying there doesn't matter. I oh, wasn't far enough. Fuck. Come on! Nail the jamboree. Let's get a good rich. Stupid skip. Chance to catch a 
breath and prepare. Pretty ending there. It was really good up until the Stormbird, but forced to switch platform a lot of times, so that's gonna lose time. Might have cost me the 225. Fuck. Me messing up the skip and the Stormbird being an absolute what? asshole. Yeah, need to gold. Fucking Hades now. Shit. I think the 225 died there. Unlucky. Would have been 225 if it wasn't for the meat RNG as well. We can also blame that. But yeah, uh, whatever. Let's finish strong. Let's get a new world record. Aloy. 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 Tab. By all mother, you survived. I thought you were killed. The others, are they... No, no. Wounded, but alive, mostly. 
The machines blasted through, then kept going. They marched on the spire, dragging that thing with them. Take care of the other step. I've got to go. Must have gotten through the defenses. Baron's vanguard. I have to get up there. Gotta keep going. Keep pushing. I knew this wouldn't be easy. Not a mic. We're about right. Well, all right, let's do it. Terrible fight, but let's go! <clears throat> Another fucking world record. Oh, that Ravager was all over my ass. Nice. Very nice. New world record. Let's go. Whew. Pretty happy with that. Pretty goddamn happy with that. Considering uh, how screwed we were, but RNG, RNG there at the, both Hades Ritz defense, and then, of course, meat RNG was talk shit this run. And uh, also my early game Carls. I mean, they were good and we got them quickly, but considering the Carls I have, uh, I feel like I shouldn't have played that well in the early game. <laughs> but uh, it's a world record, I'm really happy with it. I'm, I'm mainly really happy with how well I played throughout this entire run. 
Like, if if I had that better RNG in a lot of places, this would easily be 224. But, uh, so main, mainly losing time to most of the big time losses in this run were RNG related, so. So I can't really complain there. But obviously, I still won the 225, so we're definitely gonna keep going, but, uh, always nice to, uh, improve and get another record, so let's fucking go. Woo! Nice. I was so afraid I was gonna die there at the end and also on Ridge Defense, so... Ugh, massive relief right now. <laughs> oh, I really thought that run was gonna die at the end. But let's go. Let's go. Ugh. Man. <laughs> Oh yeah, shoutouts to Magic, he actually called it. <laughs> Yo, let's go Magic. Let's go. Yeah, 226, 27. We're definitely getting that 225 soon. If not, sub 225. Like I said, I'd be pretty happy if I can uh, get a 225. Then I'll be satisfied in this category, but... With how well I'm playing, if I get the right RNG, sub 225 is definitely not out of the question. So, uh, we'll keep at it. Really awesome run. Really awesome run. But, uh, we'll keep improving. Let's go. A little bit of a Christmas world record. <laughs> Very nice. Thanks for all the GG's guys, I really appreciate it. Also, I missed a sub during the late game because I was so focused, but K9, thanks okay, for the 37 month free sub, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your continued support, really hope you're doing well. Right. Thank you so yeah, much, man. So, um, like I was saying, Let me uh, quickly go over the run here. So, starting off, childhood was solid, cast was solid, uh, pretty good sawtooth, pretty good proving. Corruptor was really slow. It wasn't terribly slow because the Stratus didn't screw me, but uh, Corruptor, I think, jumped twice before I killed him. So that's a bit unfortunate. Stragobo was good, but we got basically no meat on that split, which was really bad. Which caused us to lose time later. Uh, Kaja Border, the fourth fight could have been better, as well as the first Corrupted Zone. So we definitely have time to save there. Um. Oh, I'm sure. dropping a lot of frames. <laughs> well, I remember yelling we'll fix that here in a sec, but let me go over I this. When my mother um, her hands and let's see, Meridian. Spoke. Query. Uh, Meridian was fine, say? just lost a little bit of time because I think I collected meat on the way. Excuse said, me, Excavation side was really good considering I didn't have a damage card. Well, we'll excavation side is probably the split in the run that is most dependent on having a damage girl to do well so that was really good considering i didn't have a damage girl um you often tell stories of your mother so uh yeah my pb had a damage girl so that's why i lost time ambush was really good could definitely be a little better uh Mager's end was not a great fight unfortunately so definitely time to save there uh sun king is fine borderlands um borderlands had a bit of a slow fight and also because i was so low on meat in this run i had to go out of my way to collect meat on that split, so that's time loss. Same, same story in Warchief. A little bit of a slow fight, but also having to collect meat loses me time. Camps were really good. Uh, Ring of Metal was really good. Gravehorde was good. Uh, Eclipse Space had to go out of my way to collect some meat, so that could have been better, but everything else was good. Uh, solid Seward on, but messed up uh, the railing skip, or the catwalk skip. So, can save time there. Sunring was solid. Fi the fight itself could have been a little better, but solid nonetheless. All Mother was really good. Really good fun to draw kill in the run, so that's nice. The only thing was... The only thing I could have saved more time on was killing the humans was a bit slow. Anyway, After the fun to Guy Prime was good. Uh, Shield Reaver messed up the menu, so I lost a bit of time there. Uh, Durval was basically perfect Durval, I would say. Uh, Helis was really good, except... Uh, could have been a little better, but kept messing up the skip, so that's unfortunate. Ridge Defense was really good, except for the very end with the Stormbird and uh, Death Ringer forcing me to swap platforms, which loses time. So we can save some time there, but that's that's just RNG. There's not really anything I can do as a runner to prevent that. 
And then on Hades, the fight started out really good, but then the Ravager there at the end was just all over me the entire time. Made it like really hard to get shots on the Deathbringer. So that's unfortunate. But we'll have some easy time in the late to save in the late game. But yeah, another world record, 226-27. So that's really awesome. GG. But uh yeah, like I said, I'll keep going because I want uh, I want to get a 225 or lower. So uh, I'll keep pushing for more records. But uh, another step on the way to achieving the goal. So GG to that.